No twins Thursday evening, so we're starting off with the St. Paul Saints and starting off with a bunch of defense in this game. Man, the Saints were flashing the leather. Deshaun Kersey Jr., gorgeous catch in center field here. My goodness, he's also brought the stick this year, an 841 OPS through this evening. Deshaun Kersey Jr., a legit defensive center fielder in addition to that. Again, you know, guy knocking on the door of the big leagues. Same draft class as Larnick and Jeffers. Kind of been a late bloomer, but really putting it together here. Tony Kemp, the recently acquired Tony Kemp, turning two with Diego A. Castillo. We'll see a little bit more of in just a moment here, but that was a great diving stop from Kemp. Probably a guy we can expect to see on the Twins before too long, I would imagine. Brings a lot of versatility. Speaking of Diego Castillo, what a play this is. What a throw deep in the hole. Man, he's been great since the Twins got him from Baltimore. And with all these middle infield injuries, they got him for cash considerations, just for depth. But he's been awesome for the Saints. The Diego A. Castillo. Of course, they have the pitcher Diego Castillo as well. Paul Skeens, like the best pitching prospect, I don't know, since Strasburg? I don't, I don't even know. It's since forever. Started for Indianapolis tonight, Pittsburgh's AAA affiliate. Junior Severino hit a ball 113.1 miles per hour off of him. So power in, power out. Crushed that. He also drew a walk off of Skeens that ended his outing. So uh, this is a guy sitting 100. You see, that was 101. He topped out at 102. Pretty impressive that Severino was holding his own there. Max Kepler struck out looking. This was his first game of his rehab assignment. Matt Walner back with the Saints for his first game. He strikes out as well against Skeens. I got eight strikeouts in less than four innings. Matt, or excuse me, Max Kepler fell behind 0-2, which is just, you're, you're just dead against this guy. And he worked a walk. So great to see out of Max, who hasn't been seeing live pitching, battling in that plate appearance. Again, fighting back from 0-2 to draw a walk. Walner did get some contact off of Skeens, a ground ball, ground out on that 100 mile per hour pitch there a uh, Kepler did get a hit in this game a single to center field off of one of their relievers and then Walner uh, had a couple of notable things happen here beats out a two out the little dribbler for a single so uh, great to see I think this is maybe more encouraging than the next thing we're going to look at because he's out here working hard putting in the effort you know trying to lift up his teammates putting in good effort you know he can't be happy that he's down here uh, Matt Walner and then just absolutely obliterates one. Obviously, that's more impressive than the infield single, of course. But we know Matt Walner can do that stuff. I was just really happy to see uh, that he's down there putting in the good effort for his teammates. He should be back before too long. Anyway, moving on to Cedar Rapids. Here's Luke Kieschel hitting a double off the wall. Um, he's off to a good start at 976 OPS after this evening's game. That plated two runs. Here's... Rubel Cespedes, once again, we watched him go the other way with a couple of gorgeous swings last night. He hits one into the gap tonight for a double. Uh, on fire, a 1341 OPS so far this season for Rubel Cespedes. And then Ricardo Olivar with the big blast. Way gone. He's got a 983 OPS so far this year. His second homer. You see him bundled up. He's from Venezuela. you got to remember, some of these guys in the Midwest League, this is the first time they've played in this cold weather before. Uh, so much of the earlier stages of their careers happen in Florida. Um, so, yeah, this is that's a big adjustment period in addition to everything else. Here are the notable hitting performances. Going to call gonna call it a night before this win surge game is over. Going to kind of take an opportunity uh, to, to do that. And want to call out, too, if you're looking for some more content out there on the Twins and on their minor league system and scouting and stuff, Destination the Show podcast had Sean Johnson, the basically the head scout, I think is vice president of a – Amateur scouting is his official title now. So Jeremy Nygaard and J.D. Cameron, a couple of draft gurus, development minds, got to pick his brain for a while. Really recommend you checking that out. I'm going to put a link down in the description to that. Uh, so if you're looking for more Twins baseball talk, head on over there. But thanks for checking this one out. We'll talk again tomorrow.